In today's challenge, I'm gonna see if I could shoot and edit an image of me on top of a building on the edge of the ledge. So I'm gonna have the camera set up right here. And I'm gonna be on top of this table, kneeling down. So this is gonna be like the ledge. So I'm gonna lower this. And I'm gonna check the angle of this, see how it looks. Maybe more this way. I don't think it's low enough. It has to be, for now the camera's right here. I need it to be about right there. I'm just set this to auto. And I'm just take some uh, test shot. Let's see how that look. But first, I need to switch out the bottom right here. So I'm just be using this again. Set the camera on there, and just tilt it up. All right, took a minute, but I got it on there. It doesn't be like that. All right, let's uh, take a test shot, see how that looks. So I like that, I like the angle of that. All right, so I'm gonna switch it back from auto to manual. Now let's set up the light. So this light's gonna be back here, like this. So this light's gonna mimic the moon. So I'm gonna use the big soft box. Turn that on. So this one is about 30 watts. Max is 640, but I'm setting it to 30. I'm gonna see how that look. So I'm using a timer to shoot. I'm gonna set it to shoot maybe four or five pictures every uh, maybe five seconds. I'm just um, test the light right now. Wanna be a Step back here, and we'll be kind of close like this. All right, I think it's too dark right now. I'm gonna change the aperture. It was at 11, I'm gonna change to 5.6. No. Much better. Now let's go ahead and set up the sucking light. So this light's gonna mimic like me holding a torch. So I'm gonna try to make this, or I'm gonna put some red. So I got these red like gift wrap paper. So hopefully that works. I'm just tilt this kind of like that. Just place it kind of right there. So the idea I have for this, I'm gonna cut the bottle and I'm gonna tape it like that. So I'll cut it in half like that. Go on there. And And I'm just tape it around it like that. And 
her. Let's see if this works. I'm set the power. The max on this is 100 watts. So I'm gonna set this. That one's 30. I want this one to be more brighter. So let's do 50. Oh man, that's a. Uh, don't light everywhere. So I got the red tint like I wanted, but yeah, it's don't light everywhere. I need to. What I probably need to do is invest in some light modifier. Let me know what you got to think in the comments. Do you like the way I just trying to figure things out like this, or should I just get the proper equipment, like the light modifier, and work with that? So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna, cause this is a video light. It's a light bulb. What I'm gonna try to do is put it down here, cover it, so it just throw the light that way. Try to get it close as possible. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. All right, let's test that out. I'm gonna be holding like a torch. Yeah, still don't light everywhere. <laughs> All right, so I got some shirts. I'm gonna see if uh, I could direct the light just to right there. So I just gotta make sure I don't smell no burnt plastic. Let's see. Hopefully this work. So I think it's getting there. I'm gonna use a clip and clip the bottom. So I want the light directed right here. All right, let me check it out. This. All right. It got too bright, but um, let's close it. Let's close it a little bit more. Much better. So here's the image that I like. Let's go ahead and double click this, open that in Photoshop, and let's go here on the right. Let's brighten the exposure just a little bit. Bring up the shadow. Let's go down here to the details. Actually, just go to the effect. Add a little bit of texture. Just click on open. And just go ahead and make a copy. Do control J. And just go ahead and save this for now. I'm going to go down to my actions right here. Click on sharpen low. Click on play. 
If you're part of my Patreon masterclass, you could download the. You can download these actions and you can install it. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, so I'm just going to close this and I'm gonna crop this out by using the pen tool. Just go here, select the pen tool or shortcut B letter P. Just go ahead and zoom in. And I'm just going to make a point here. Also, I'm going to leave timestamps and basically there'll be uh, chapters. If you want to skip this part of cropping this out, you could do that. And um, like I said, there'll be chapters and you could go and watch whichever part you like. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make a point there, drag it up kind of like that. Also, let me know in the comments if you can use the pen tool, do you like it, or do you prefer using something else? So I'm just going to make a point there, drag that kind of like that. So space bar before I let it go. So I could um, adjust that. Point there. Point there. So what I'm thinking about, because I was going to have me holding a torch, but I might change it to a red flare. The only reason why is everything is mostly red and it doesn't look like a fire. Well, right now it don't. Maybe I have to do the adjustment. I'm going to see. Because I'm going to be on top of a... Uh, building so I'm thinking the red flare since with this color it'll be better if I was in the jungle in the forest or something then maybe holding a torch makes sense All right, so I think we're about halfway there. Yeah, just gonna make a point there, drag it up like that. I'm trying to see if I should um, mask out the um, like the yellow part right there. So I might clean that up when I do the editing. See a lot right there. Now right, just go ahead and close that out. And let me see. I'm trying to see if I need to remove that. 
think I might have to because my sweater goes right there. All right, I think that should be good. Let me go to path, hold control, select that. It'll make a selection. Go back to layer. I'm just going to make a copy. And just go ahead and save this. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new document. I'll make that 1920 by 1080. Just keep it at 72. Just click on create. Now what happened? Close this. New. 1920 by 1080. There it goes. And just make a... Um, actually, let's go back to the other document. So I'm going to do control tab. And go ahead and group this. Name that main. Save this. Right click. And let's bring this into the untitled. That's the new one we created. Close this. And let's go ahead and uh, bring that in like that. And I can convert this to a smart object. And zoom out. Control T, hold shift and alt. Should I put myself in the middle or right there? Because I was thinking putting a helicopter up there. I'll put it in the middle for now. Save that. So yeah, what I was saying before is um is the light source for now. Let me um Oops. I was trying to uh, make the side of the brush smaller. There he goes. So yeah, like I was saying before, because we're not the light sources right here, right? And it's just shining like that. It lit up that part. It didn't, it didn't light up that part. So what I would want it was have the light right there. So if I had like a sphere, the light modifier. So hit the face, then it'll light down there. It'll light on top of the the hand right there. So that this will be the correct positioning of the the light, the red light, versus it being over here. So that's one thing I would change. But just gotta work with this image, and I'm gonna try my best to make it work. So I'm just gonna delete these two. All right, let's go to our stock images. And if you also, in my Patreon Masterclass, you could download these stock images. So I'm going to use, let me see. I'm trying to see which cloud should I use. I like this one. I also like this one. So let me try this one first. I'm going to do Control A, Control C to copy. And then control V to paste. The only thing is, I don't know if I like the rain. Like that. But let me try this. So control T, hold shift. Be kind of like that for now. Try the other one. Same thing. Control A, Control C to copy. Go ahead and paste this. And so I think I might like this one better. And then I can add the rain in. It's kind of like that. All right. Let me invert this. Save this. Now I'm just going to open this one again. Let's see. 
Trying to see if I should use this one as the ledge or this one. Again, try both. I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna zoom in. I'm just use the pen tool. Set P for pen, shortcut. And it's gonna make a point there, point there. Kind of like that. And it's going to zoom out. And it's going to close this out like that. Right click, make selection. Fair that zero, click OK. Control J to make a copy. Let's do Control A, Control C to copy. And let's go here on top. Let's create a new folder. Name that ledge. Paste that. Control T. And zoom out. Let's hold Shift. Flip it like that. And we're gonna have to fix this. Let's bring back the um that image. And I'm gonna try to copy the, the table right there. So control T. Right click his skew, go like that. Don't think it's too much right there. Right click distort. I I don't like that. Let me um. Yeah, I thought that would work. Let me try the other one. So maybe this one. Or let me see. Hmm. So I like this right here. I think this could work. Let me see. Double click that. And let me zoom in. Set P for the pencil. And let's go ahead and uh, select that like that. And it's going to close that out. Right click, make selection, fair that zero, click OK. Control J to copy. Do Control A, Control C. And let's go here, paste that. And it's going to make a copy. Come like that. And let's go ahead and mask that B for brush make sure it's black so I'm gonna do X X toggle between the two or just click on that and uh, select the black bring the size of the brush up hardness all the way down and let's drag this to the right kind of like that make a copy and let's go ahead and uh, Bring it there, and I'm just going to go merge it. So I might go ahead and just go like this, right? Go Control T, right click perspective, just a little bit. Hit scale, 
right click hit skew oh you know what i was supposed to do make a master copy i'm gonna delete this one oh, i'm gonna save that maybe i need it master for the master copy and convert this to a smart object Control t let's bring it down a little bit right click perspective just a little bit right click hit skew kind of like that and let's bring that up make a copy control T right click flip horizontal And let's uh, right click, hit scale. Right click, perspective. Not that way. That way, but now let's uh, right click, hit scale. And then skew. So make sure it aligns with the um with the table. All right, I think that looks good. Now let's bring back the let me disable that. Bring back the background. Maybe control T. Bring the size of the clouds up. Kind of like that. All right, let me see this one. Delete that. Just open that again. Control A, Control C to copy. Or this one, Control A, Control C to copy the background. Close this. I can save that. I do like this one because it's let me see control T I think I like it more because it has more contrast hmm. let me see this one Yeah, I like it because see the white on the cloud right there. The the light right there is pretty bright, and I like that. So I do like this one. I think I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna go to the ledge and go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm just go ahead, or actually, you know what? Just make a copy of this one the right side bring this down or that one's the, the one on the right so that one maybe I should name all this but um keep selecting the wrong one so this one right here bring underneath everything there it goes now I'm trying to see something Thing right there because I see a white pixel right there let's go ahead and match that B for brush bring the size of it down and I'll go ahead and remove that so what I'm trying to do is make a copy of that one right here select the mass let's invert the mass B for brush make sure that's white and we'll paint that in like that so basically you can use that to fill that in. So I'm gonna do control L to bring up the levels. And let's darken the uh the white like that. Save that. Alright, so I like the clouds on this one. 
I might have to do something with the uh the rain. Hmm. Let me see if I can find a better uh cloud image. Alright, so here I'm in my stock images. Let's scroll down so I can find something that's better. I don't see nothing yet. Yeah, I don't see nothing. So what I'm thinking I might have to do is um let's go down here to the clouds. And I'm have to use the uh Remove tool. So we'll go here, select the remove tool, and just remove like one or two at a time. So I will remove like most of the um the the ones that don't look right. So I think I'm gonna do that. But for now, let's go ahead and. Uh, keep on editing so let's make a copy of the cloud right here and just bring it into its own group this won't be adjustment and let's go filter blur Gaussian blur so about 164 change that to soft light And go down here again, I'm trying to see if um if I need to move it. Mm, just leave it like that. But I am gonna make a copy. So Control J. I don't like that right there. So I'm bring that kind of like that. And select the mask. Let's do control I to invert it. B for brush, make sure that's white and make sure hardness all the way down. Bring the size up. And let's paint that in like that. All right, much better. All right, so looking at this now, I might have to make my image a little bit smaller. So I'm going to control T, hold shift and alt. Bring the size of it down, maybe like that. see before after hmm I'm trying to think let me see control T maybe kind of like that all right now I want to add in the flare the only thing is because I shot the image thinking I'm going to hold a torch. But that's not going to work because the flare is not as thick as that. So what I decided to do, I'm going to create a futuristic flare. So I'm going here to my stock image and I'm just opening up this red cylinder. So this is going to be the futuristic flare. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And I'm going to use the pen tool to crop this out. And just go ahead and make a point there. Drag it up kind of like that. Hold Alt, bring that in like that. Point there, drag that kind of like that. 
and I'm hold alt bring that in point there hold alt bring that in and let's go ahead and make point there There, let's go ahead and make point there, drag it kind of like that. And I don't supposed to get that bottom part, but right here is um missing. But that's alright, I'm gonna go like that. There, drag that up kind of like that. All right, I'm just going to right click, make selection, feather at zero, click OK. Just go ahead and make a copy. And yeah, just go ahead and make a copy of that. Go ahead and group them. Name that cylinder. And right click, bring this into the main PSD. And you can save this, I'm not, I'm just close it, click on no. And the cylinders here, let's disable that. Let's right click, convert this to a smart object. Control T, hold shift and alt. Bring that down, come like that. All right, now I'm just bring the opacity down to 50. So I can see it, control T. Let's bring that, trying to make it match. It's about right there. The only thing now is, um, It might be pointing to my face too close, so I might have to rotate my hand and the cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on it like this for now. Let's go ahead and zoom in, and let's go ahead and uh, create a mask. Let's invert it, and I'm select B for brush. Bring the size of the brush down, hardness all the way up. I'm just going to paint that in like that. Bring the size of the brush down. All right, I think that's looking good. Now we just got to change the. I don't want to do that. Just got to change the uh, the highlights right there. So I'm gonna go here, and I'm just going ahead and uh, group this, and let's go ahead and create a new levels adjustment. Let's clip that. So I'm gonna try to match that part. Maybe it could be a little bit brighter. Let's bring that back. Maybe just a little bit. And let's go to the red LEDs right there. And I'm just gonna use the black brush, paint that out. Same thing down here. All right, save that for now. It is the contrast is different, but I'm gonna adjust the main image. 
Now let's go to a stock images and open up the flare. Double click this. Let's do the same thing. Control A, Control C to copy. And let's go ahead and um, I'll go with that inside the main image. And select that. I don't know why it went into the, uh, hold up. That is, um, I got confused for a little bit. I thought it was in the ledge. <laughs> so uh, I was right. All right, let me see. Um, let's go ahead and control V. And let's go ahead and set that to screen. And let's group this, name that red glow. And let's go ahead and convert this to a smart object. So this one I like to convert to a smart object because I could double click it, go inside here. And let's clean that up right there. Let's go to the remove tool. And go ahead and uh, save that. Right, so I thought I would have to rotate my hand and the cylinder, but I think um, just the way where that's going, it should be good. And let's go ahead and change the levels. Control L. Darken the uh, the mid tones like that. So I might have to clean that up right there, just a little bit. So we'll make a copy. I'll um, change that to normal. And let's go ahead and zoom in. See those dots. Let's do a remove tool. Save that. Close that out. All right. I'm liking how that looks. So I might add some more stuff in the back. Maybe like a tower one tall tower like those signal tower with the red light on top and I like adding foreground stuff so I might um add something to give it more depth right now it's just uh the ledge me and background all right all right so on the so I see some uh, texture right there thing to fix that since it's a smart object let's go to filter blur gaussian blur so about let's do one pixel maybe two let's do two and then um oh man it uh I'm trying to see if i could do the uh Cause I'm trying to add only the mask to the Gaussian blur, but if I do it to that, it'll mask out the levels too. So let me click on do. Just go inside here, and zoom in. So see that texture right there, right? So I'm just make a copy, filter, Gaussian blur, select the mask, Control I to invert it, B for brush. Make sure that's white. Hardness all the way down. And just uh, paint that in kind of like that. Save that. Let's go check that out. All right, much better. And while we're here, let's go ahead and just add the... Clean that up. Let's see. Go to the action. And I'm at the gray noise. While we add is create a new layer. Bring underneath there. So I'm gonna do only one layer of the noise. That's um so I was gonna add some uh I'm gonna try it though, let's see. So I'm gonna fill that in with black and I'm gonna select the red B for brush, hardness all the way down, size of it kinda like that. Change that to soft light. 
Alright. Yeah. I think it made it too dark. That's what I was, I was afraid of. So I just delete that. Alright, so now let's edit our main image. So that will blend in much better. Let's go down here. Go ahead and group that. Let's fix the left side. So let's add a levels. Clip that. Double click this. Darken that. Bring up the highlights. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm have to clean up the um. Remember the yellow right there? I'm have to clean that up. So let's invert the mask. B for brush. Make sure that's white over here. And bring the size of the brush down. Hardness all the way down. And let's go ahead and uh, paint that in like that. I don't want it there, so I'm going to hit B for brush. Make sure that's black. All right, now let's go to our main image. And let's zoom in. And let's double click this. Create new layer. I'm gonna fill that in with black. So just make sure that's black. And zoom in like that. And let's go ahead and uh, clean this up. So the way to do that, I'm gonna do a control, select that, select the mask, select the layer, not the mask. Go here to the clone stamp, and I'm gonna select, I'm gonna sample this right here, right? So I'm gonna do Alt. Sample that, and that should get rid of the the yellow outline like that. This one, hold Alt. Or actually, you know what? You don't have to do that part. Down here, hold Alt. Sample that. Same thing here. Hold Alt, sample that, hold Alt. So basically we're just going around the image. Disable the black, save this. All right, now let's add a um, new layer. Let's add like a blue tint. I'm gonna sample something in the back, kind of like that. Fill that in, all backspace. Change that to multiply. And let me see. So just a little bit so it matches that. Double click this, split the black. And the white just a little bit. So before, after. Select the mask, invert it. B for brush, make sure that's white, paint that in just a little bit. I'm gonna go down here and I'm just going to make a copy and uh, name that the master, for the master copy. And again, I'm gonna uh, rasterize it or rasterize it. And then we'll go here to action and select the sharp and low, click on play. And let's go to the ledge. 
And I'm going to go ahead and um, group all of this, make a copy, and then I'm going to go ahead and merge it with Control E. I'm going to do the same thing, sharpen low. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm gonna make the side brighter. So I'm going to go ahead and group this. Create new levels and let's bring the mid-tone up like that. Make sure we clip it. L4 lasso. So select that for that zero. Let's go ahead and uh, select that. Select the mask, control I and B for brush. And I'm just paint this in um or actually you know what? Let's do a L right here. for brush and make sure that's white or make sure that's black so kind of like that bring the size of the brush up just a little bit maybe create a new layer and fill that in with black I'm at E for eraser and I'm just going ahead and now like that maybe another one B for brush make sure that's black all right so just a little bit for now I'm gonna see how I look if um so I can group all this, name that background, delete that, let's create a new so that cloud, that's the one before. So create a new levels and just brighten it just a little bit. Now let's go ahead and add a um, new folder, name this Glow, create a new layer, and a sample kind of a maybe darker blue, like that. B for brush, bring the size of the brush up like that, paint that in, change that to screen. Or after just some um, maybe just a little bit All right, I'm gonna see how it looks if I move my uh, main image down just a little bit so let me see the cylinder red glow no, I like it better like that Bring the size of it up just a little bit. All right, so it's getting there. Probably mm, 40 40 percent. Let me go to the background. Let me see the levels. Because I see some parts right there like kind of green. So I'm going to hit B for brush and make sure that's black. Paint that in like that. Save that. Now I'm thinking I need more contrast on the left side. 
But before we mess with that, let's go to over here. And I like the rain on the ledge right here. See the, let's double click that. Zoom in. Let's go hit P for the pen tool. Let's go ahead and uh, close that out. Right click, make selection for that zero. Click OK. Control J to copy. Control A, Control C. Close this for now. Let's go to the ledge here. So that's the main one. And all this, I'm gonna group that. Just name that master copy, just in case we uh, mess up. And go ahead and paste that, Control T. So I like the raindrop, like right there. Alright, so I'm gonna group that, name that raindrop, change that to screen, and let's go ahead and make a copy again, master copy. And I can do control L. Kind of like that. Select the mask, B for brush, make sure that's black. And so control T for us to unlock the um the mask right there. So I'm rotate it. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to do it to that one. Control T, rotate like that. Now I think that looks good. Let's make a copy. Control T, right click, flip horizontal. And it's like the brush, let's go ahead and uh, paint that out like that. I have to add some right there. So I'm just gonna make a copy, right click, delete, and I don't have to delete it. So um, let's move it like that. B for brush, go ahead and paint that out. And maybe paint it back in right here. And paint that out like that. This one maybe move it over here. All right, something's happening. All right, let's move it over here. B for brush, paint that out kind of like that. paint this one back in and maybe just smudge that right there so I'm gonna select the layer smudge it to blend it in all right so every time I save it my computer want to start freezing So I'm gonna darken that part right there. So that will be this one. So let's create a new levels, clip that, and bring that kind of like that. Let's invert it. B for brush, make sure that's white. All right, I think that looks better. All right, so before we clean up some of the raindrops, on the cloud, let's um, go here to the background and let's create a new layer. Let's like B for brush. I'm gonna go to my fog number one and let's go ahead and uh, zoom out.
paint that in kind of like that. And let's uh, lower the opacity, bring it up. Let's do 50. I'm trying to see if I should save the glow. I mean, keep it. I should, but then I might have to add some more contrast. So let's go ahead and uh, make a copy of the Smoke here, bring that down like that. Make another copy, control T, right click, flip vertical. All right, so it's getting there. So since we added some dust back there, the glow right there, on top of the ledge, and then on top of there, now we could um maybe make a copy of this. I'm liking how that looked. Alright, let's go to the main image. Let's go down here and zoom in. And I'm gonna go ahead and um let's go to filter, neural filters. And I'm trying to clean up the skin. Just click OK. And let's go ahead and um, spot healing. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the patch tool and select that. And let's go ahead and make a copy first. Disable that, select that one. And let's uh, clean that up. Bring this one back, maybe just a little bit, about 47. Save that. All right, let's go ahead and clean that up. I'm gonna select both. Show E and zoom in, select the patch tool. Well, actually, you know what? Let's um, select the remove tool. All right, that looks good. Save that. All right, let's go to our stock images and let's open up the tentacles. And for this one, I'm gonna see. Um, try to add one right here. So I'm trying to see which tentacle am I gonna use. Cause I'm thinking about using this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the pen tool. Make a point there. Point there. So kind of like that. Go ahead and close that out. I'm gonna right click, make selections, do um let's do one. Let's make a copy. And I'm just do Control A, Control C to copy. Let's go here. Let's close all this. Bring this above the the ledge underneath the glow. So let's name that Tentacles. Paste that. Control T. Or actually, you know what? Right click. Let's convert this to a smart object. All 
I'm trying to see the um the dust right here. So maybe Control T, right click, flip horizontal. No, I think that's better. About right there. Let's go back here. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And let's see. I might want to add another one. Or maybe um let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So about three pixel. Show T. Maybe about right there. Let's group this. Let's name that number one. Create new layer, B for brush. And I'm gonna change it to a soft round brush like that. Hardness all the way down. And let's select a red color. Paint that in. All right, let me see, Control L. Let me see if I can make it brighter. Let's pick another copy. Kind of like that. All right, let me see. Screen soft light. I'm trying to see if, which one's more. Right, I'm gonna leave that screen. I might have to darken this side. Let me see. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. Let's do Control Alt G for the clipping mask. Let's fill that in with black. So I'm gonna hit D for default. And let's fill that in. Let's hit E for the eraser. All right, I think that looks much better. And let's create a new layer. Then let's fill it in with blue. Change that to soft light. Kind of like that hit E for the eraser and go ahead and uh, delete this side so just kind of blue like that maybe change it to multiply all right let me fix the uh, the red glow right there. Let me make a copy. Remove the levels. Select the mass. Control I. No, I don't want to do that. Control I to the uh, to the mask. B for brush, and make sure that's white. Bring the size of the brush up. All right, I like that. Just bring it back a little bit more like that. Then since that's red, so this is gonna be red, right? Because that's right there. Let's go back to the tentacles, number one. And just remove the blue then. Just add a new layer. Let's fill that with red. Change it, multiply. And this one I'm going to do the mask. Let's uh, invert it. Hit B for brush. Make sure that's white. And I'm just kind of paint it in.
Don't worry, I'm gonna uh, fix it. Something like that. Let's go here. Go to property. All right, so before, after, maybe bring it down just a little bit. Maybe if I remove the, no, I'm gonna keep that. Multiply, just add, I'll make a copy, control alt G. Change that to color dodge, just make it a little bit more brighter. Double click that. And it's going to split the black by holding alt. Kind of like that. All right, now let's go back to the tentacle here. I'm trying to see which one am I going to. So I like this one right here. I think I could put it behind me just a little bit kind of that way. So let me zoom in. And let's go ahead and use the pen tool. Hold Alt, bring that in like that. Let me see. I'm trying to see how far I'm gonna go up. So let's um say right here. I'm just going to close that out. Right click, make selection, feather at zero, click OK. Control J to copy. Zoom out. Let's do Control A, Control C to copy. And let's bring this underneath the um, main image. Control V, Control T, right click, flip horizontal. Let's convert that to a smart object. Group that. Name that tentacles. Control T, hold shift. All right, I'm liking that. Bring it up just a little bit. Let's see. So I like that part, right? So I'm gonna make a copy. Let's mask this first, B for brush, and let's take that away. Make sure the color's black. And let's go ahead and uh, bring this one back. And just rotate it like that. Or let me see, let's do M for the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just select this area right there, kind of like that. Select the mask, unlock it, and let's play around with it like this. All right, let's see, because it's going to go like that. Then maybe like that, right? Yeah, like that. So curves like that. All right, 
Don't want to mess that up. Save that. Now let's create a new uh, layer. B for brush. Make sure that's red. Change that to screen. Maybe about 50. All right, now let's add, um, let's group all this first. Create a color balance. Select the shadow and let's add some, uh, make sure you clip it. First, let's um, create a levels, right? Let's bring the shadows up a little bit. Now select the color balance. Let's um, reset that. Select the shadow. Add just a little bit of blue. So before, after. So just a little bit blue. All right, I might have to um continue the tentacle that way. Let me see. Let's make a copy of that. Right click, delete layer mask. And let's bring this over here. Rotate it. Nah, that don't look right because the light's coming there like that. Let me try Control T, right click, and warp. No, I think that looks better like that. So what I'm trying to get it to look like is um kind of wrap like that. Or maybe it goes like that. I might come back to that one. Let me um let's go here and let's um so we got that one. So maybe this one. Let me see. So I'm gonna have one right here. Or maybe I could just use the um this one, bring it up here, control T. Oh, I don't like the um let's make a copy of this one. I didn't like the uh what's it called? See, it's not um it's not like that one. You can tell it's warped. So yeah, I might have to come back to that one. Let's right click, delete letter mask. Show T. Oh, I like this, like that. So it looks like it's coming in front of the screen. Let's group this. Let's go um, filter, Gaussian blur. So three pixel, like that one. Save that. I'm trying to think, should I make it um dark like this or I should make this one? Like that. Hmm. 
All right, so I'm gonna do um. So I like it like this. So I'm gonna do E for eraser. Let's go ahead and just delete that part. All right, let me do the back here. Let's delete that. Let's make another copy. Delete layer mask. Nice, so it's kind of coming like, um, kind of like this. So let's select the mask, B for brush, remove that, make a copy, right click, delete layer mask. Let's bring this over here. Select the mask, invert the mask, B for brush, make sure that's white. Paint that in, but we're going to adjust it. And I don't want to do that. Make sure that's white. I'm trying to just make it go like that. Let me see. Let's make another copy. Let's delete the layer mask. Let's go ahead and bring it over here. Yeah, I think that one look good. It's like the mask, B for brush, make sure it's black. Paint that out. All right, much better. But just um, let's adjust it a little bit. Bring it down. Let's make sure to lock all that. All right. So since most of the lights come from the left, I gotta um darken the highlights over here. So let's create a new layer. Let's fill that in with black. Let's hit E for the eraser. Yeah, let's go ahead and erase that, kind of like that. Over there. And bring it down. So I do like the highlights on the red. So let me. Probably racing is not the best way, but as long as make it work. Now, where's the uh, where's the dust right here? Let's bring that above the tentacles. See how that look. Let's bring the opacity up. So about 78. All right, let's go to the background. Let's clean up some of the raindrops. So select that. Let's go to the remove tool. Let's uh, remove this one. That one, maybe that one. So 
So just a couple of them that we don't want to keep. All right, I think that's good for that. All right, let's go to our stock images and let's open up the rain. Control A, Control C to copy, and let's go here, paste that. Control T, bring the size of that up, change that to screen. Make another copy. Maybe bring the size of this down just a little bit. So I'm trying to have it mostly on top of the. Oh, that's why I was on color dodge. Make another copy, bring it down here, and just do the eraser tool. As long as you have um, you have a master copy, it should be good. Just make a copy there, bring it this way, erase that. And so, um, bring this one back. So we try to make different size. Um, make sure change that to screen. Maybe filter blur. Gaussian blur. Maybe just uh, let's try one. A copy there, bring it over here. All right, now let's go to the, the ledge and let's make a copy of the master copy, bring it above the Where's the main image? Right here. And let's go ahead and group that. And I'm just doing control L. Darken the uh, midtone. So this one might not work. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Try to add a new layer, B for brush. All right, so once you create a new layer, so I think I figured out how to make the rain like I did before, because I learned it a long time ago. So for the scattering, make sure that's checked. Bring that all the way up, bring that down. Shape, dynamic, size jitter, bring that all the way up. You see how it's um, when you bring it down, it looks too cluttered. That one looks better. And then the roundness jitter, bring it all the way up. You can see the different sizes. And it's um, everything down, down. And then you want to keep it at one pixel for the small one. So you go up here, make sure that's one pixel. And just kind of paint in the small. I don't know if you can see it. So around your image. Maybe a little bit right there. Change that to overlay. I like the way that looks. So 
that's normal. Let me see. I do like the overlay look, but then um couldn't see nothing. Let's see. Overlay. Let's try to create a new layer, right? And then um now change it to two pixels, which make it a little bit bigger. Create a new layer. Let's do four pixel. This one's go filter blur, Gaussian blur. Change that to overlay. All right, so it's getting there. Now let's try it on the tentacles. Create a new group, name that rain. Create a new layer. This one's going to be the four pixel like that. And filter causing blur. Change that to overlay. Create another one. Let's change this to one pixel. It's going to be the sharper. Um, Raindrops. Maybe about 61. Create a new layer. This one's going to be the 3 pixel. I'll just do 2. And change this one to overlay. So it's getting there. Now for this one, let's go to the tentacle here. I'll just group both of them. And let's create a group inside. Name that rain. Let's create a new layer. B for brush. And let's bring the size of it to, let's try seven. I can't even uh, go along with it. Let's go to filter, blur, or Gaussian blur. Let's do that again. Let's do about 43. Create a new layer, B for brush, and let's bring it down to four. And we can pass it down, maybe about 45 filter, Gaussian blur. And create a new one, B for brush, and this one's gonna be the, let's do two pixel, this one's gonna be the sharper one. And change that to soft lights so before or after, so just a little bit. All right, so save this. So with the raindrop, it's just you just gotta you just gotta work on it, just make it better. You know what I'm saying? Is um, what I'm trying to say is uh, spend more time on it, then you get it the way you want it to look. But the way it looks right now, I like it. So next, let's go to the... Let's go to our stock images and let's open up the raindrop. And do Control A, Control C to copy, close this. And let's put this on to the... Um, let's put it right there. Let's see how that looks. 
create a new group, name that raindrop. Just make a copy. That won't be the master copy. You can show T. Bring it down kind of like that. So the low point right there, you'd be dripping. So change that to screen. Control T, right click, warp. Bring that up like that. I like the way that looked. And let's make a copy of that. Control T. Bring it down here. Change that to screen. Control T. Right click, flip horizontal. Bring it right there. Right click, warp. All right, I think that looks good. And let me do one more for the uh, that side. So make a copy. Right click, hit skew. Maybe I should change it to screen first. Then right click, hit skew. Right click, warp. Kind of like that. E for the eraser since uh, we got the master copy. We could uh, kind of mess up on this if we. Mm, I don't think I like that. Let me uh, try again. Let me do screen. So I like that right there. So let's mask it. And B for brush. Let's bring back the soft round. I should have saved the uh, the rain brush, but now I know how to do it. So just a little bit right there. All right. Let me do the ledge. Raindrop, paste that, control T. Change that to screen. Bring that down kind of like that. Control T, right click, hit skew. Hit E for race, I'm gonna delete that, delete that part. Maybe bring the passy down. About right there. Save that. Now let's go to our stock images and open up this one. Do the same thing, control A, control C to copy. On the ledge, paste that, control T. Right click, hit skip, or flip horizontal, so bring it right there. Change that to screen. So I want it like dripping on the corner, maybe just flip it back. Hit E for the eraser. Make another copy and Maybe up there, rotate it so it's uh, kind of falling straight down. And maybe this one, bring it up there. No, I'll just leave it like that. Now let's go to the glow. So this one is um bring that all the way to a hundred and I'm gonna 
going to save with this one to the left. Now let's go to the main image. Let's um, create a levels. Oh, that's too bright. So I'm trying to make the red a little bit more redder. So I change that to screen. Let's create a new layer. Let's fill that in with blue. I like that. The hard light. Let's double click this. Let's split the black by holding Alt. And let's, in, let's select the mass. B for brush, make sure that's black. So I like the blue right there. So that's what I'm trying to go for right now. All right, I think that's looking good. Maybe let's go to the background. Let's add a. So I'm trying to make it darker. So I'm gonna remove that. All right. Let me see something real quick. Go to the tentacles. Let me see if I add um. Trying to make it darker. So this one right here. Let's create a new layer. Fill that in with black. Control Alt. Let me fix that real quick. Let's just go to the rain. And I think it's this one. Yep. E for eraser. And let's bring the hardest all the way down. Alright, that's good. Let's go back here. Control Alt G and some um, darken it just a little bit, kind of like that. So match that one. And for this one, let's see. Let's glow there. Glow there. I see what it is. So let's go here to the adjustment. Select the two, control T. Let's uh, bring it like that. There it goes. Because that part was being too bright. So this is before. There it goes. Now maybe lower this. And let's uh, change that to, let's make a copy, right? Select the mask, invert it. Let's see, cause I like the darkness right there, but not right there. So let me see, B for brush, make sure that's black. So I think I like that. Now I'm try, let's go to the main image. Let's go to the tentacles on the background. Let's make a copy of the master copy. So this one, bring that to the main. And change that to screen. I don't know how this is going to look. Well, this, um, I just have some water dripping down my face, but this don't look right. 
Maybe because it's blue. So I'm going to change the hue and saturation. Click on colorize. Make sure that's red. Darken like that. I'm trying to see if it looks right. Just go ahead and delete that. All right, just double checking everything. I'm gonna see if I can add some more stuff to it. Maybe in the rain. Let's add kind of like that, but just uh. So the face like that. All right, now let's um copy all of this. Make a copy. Control J, Control E to merge. Kind of like that. Color dodge. Right, let me uh, fix this down here to make it blue. So let's go down to the main. Let's make a copy of this blue. Or actually, you know what? Just uh, create a new layer. Just like the blue like that. Maybe like that. Change that to multiply. And B for brush. Bring the size of it down. Zoom out, not much better. Before, after. Maybe just create a new levels. Hold control, we'll make a selection and control I to invert it, but um let's delete the levels. Let's do this control, select that, then select levels, then darken the whites. So should I keep it blue or make it red? Try. Try like a red. Hmm. I think I'm just keep it blue. Bring it down just a little bit. All right, now let's create a new layer. Change that to overlay. Zoom in on the eyes. B for brush, make sure it's white. Just bring the eyes like that. So maybe bring it on, um, it's like 55. All right, so it looked like I messed something up right there. See that white? So I'm gonna go change that to normal. Let's disable this. And let's disable the uh, mask. So we have that white right there. Let's go to the patch tool. I don't know what happened. I think I was moving too fast. Bring back that. Change that back to soft light. So if you watch all the way to the end, you'll appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.